Well, I will start us off. I'm trying to manage all my tabs here, like usual. So thanks for joining us for the last Oily Fireside Chat of 2020. Almost Happy New Year, everyone. I'll preemptively say Happy New Year um, and Merry Christmas. I hope everyone had a very Merry Christmas. Um, as always, be sure to comment live if you're watching live on Facebook or comment watch replay because we do put names on the prize wheel every week. Um, you get two entries if you're watching live and then for this week and an entry, one entry for next week. And then watching the replay, you get an entry for next week. Um, you get entries for sharing if you haven't shared our videos already and you get entries for commenting this month. Um, so be sure you comment. You get double entries if you comment with a helpful hint or tip or trick using your oils, because we love being educated by other members who use oils in ways different than us. Um, we don't know everything. We teach based on research we do and life experience, trial and error. Um, so tonight is um, year-end team recognition and a little bit of Q&A if we have time. We know everybody is pretty busy with the holidays, so we're trying to keep this one real short. Um, so, Anne, do you want to start off with sharing the overall team numbers for the year? Sure, I would love to. Um, I had to really, really dig a little bit, um, you know, in my spare time. <laughs> All of it that you have. Yeah, yeah. We had a really, really good, good year um, as a team. Um, we added... Um, guesstimating we added about about 40 people to our team that's awesome um, yeah yeah so so that's really really awesome um knowing that these little bottles of gold and thieves household cleaner and all the oh, yeah. stuff is now um in homes that weren't previously <laughs> is just awesome, awesome news. Um, and, you know, I mean, obviously this year was kind of a, a challenging year um, because, you know, we weren't able to do our normal things. We had to be creative on how to get the word out on these fabulous essential oils. And I think, you know, we've done a really, really good job um, Rose really started us off really well, and you know she is so appreciated. Um, Very much so. My my heart is like oh so thankful for her. She is just a true blessing, as are you, Tessa, uh, oh. for keeping us going. I really appreciate that myself. And my pleasure. You know everybody's everybody's you know goals and desires. I mean you've you've stayed the course and. Um, I am just really, really appreciative of all of your efforts, and I know that, you know, this upcoming year will be nothing but um, blessings for all of us, and so I just thank you for that. Um, I don't know if you want me to highlight anybody right now, or you want to come back to that, or... Whatever we can do it in whatever order, there's no okay. regimented structure this evening. Okay, well, I just want to give kind of a shout out to, um, you know, all of the essential rewards people. So mm -hmm. auto, our monthly auto ship people that are just tried and true. I mean, they just, they don't um, waver from getting their monthly orders in, which is awesome. Um, just a few, few people that I just want to mention obviously, obviously is you guys, <laughs> you know, Tessa and Janelle and Rose and, um, but my mom is Aww. one. She doesn't, she doesn't miss at all. So I just, I'm thankful that I was able to, you know, help her out and, and getting um, essential oils into her home. And she's, she's almost a diffusing a maniac like I am. <laughs> Her, her place is a lot smaller than mine, but she's got like, I don't know, four or five diffusers. So, um, <laughs> I don't think anyone's quite the diffusing maniac you are, you know, and, then, <laughs> and then close, they can come close. close. I don't think they'll beat you. <laughs> uh, um, and then, you know, some of our, 
uh, I, I don't really like to call them newbies, but, you know, newer to the team, um, you know, Maureen, she is just all over on fire with essential oils. Evelyn is another one um, that, you know, she's just like, oh, I, I need to tell everybody about these oils and, and the Thieves Household Cleaner and how awesome it is. And, and I just, you know, I am just so thankful for everybody that is just, you know, get it and, you know, they can't wait. There's an energy, there's an excitement. And um, I just, my prayer is that more and more people will swap out some of the things that they're currently using from the store. And I actually have it just automatically delivered to their home um, from living. Um, you know, it's, it's just the, the better way to go. And, you know, I, I'm not one to, to beat around the bush. You know, it's like your home is just going to be in a much better shape mm -hmm. um, when you make that that switch. Mm -hmm. So, so that's my two cents worth. Awesome. Um, so, along that line of people, I want to mention um, definitely Rose. Um, she's probably the most creative and the most go getter and on fire person on my team. She just fires off ideas. We kind of have this joke that. I'm the marathoner and she's the sprinter. She'll throw out this huge idea and be like, oh, let's run with this. And then she kind of like hits a roadblock or, or doesn't really know where to go from here. And I'm like, oh, oh, I got this. Let me come alongside you and we'll make this work. We'll get, we'll get this done together. And so um, we really work well together. She encourages me to like not overanalyze things. And I encourage her to keep going when the going stuff. So I, I really love, um, I want to commend Rose this year for all the challenges she's faced and she's pushed through them. I, I think that's awesome. And for her amazing idea of these oily fireside chats, these have been phenomenal for all of us. Um, especially like getting together with somebody once a week because it gets lonely at home. Um, so thank you, Rose, for that. Um, I want to thank, um, obviously, Anna and Janelle because I learned so much from you. Somebody asked me a question. I'm like, I don't know. And so I can message Anna and Janelle anytime night or day because Janelle works nights and she's an amazing mom and she puts together young living stuff and she works nights at the hospital. You just amaze me and and you're helping to run a church with your husband and you nanny and you do young living and you've still got time to answer my questions and my chaos. So both of you are incredible. I love having you as my upline team because I know I can come to you with questions. Um, Somebody else I wanted to mention was Wendy Weingarten. She is by far our most faithful Oily Fireside Chat viewer. She's on every week without fail, and she shares it with her friend B. and I know she shared it with a couple other people, so I think Wendy is just awesome. I was actually supposed to be filming on site with her this evening, but the snow kept me at my in-law's house, but um, it was going to be really fun. I was going to be a guest speaker in somebody else's house, so she opened up her home to me, but this works just as well. Um, so thank you, Aunt Wendy, for being willing to open your house. And thank you for watching so faithfully and all of your great questions. It helps me to do research. It encourages me to look up new things. So that's wonderful too. Um, along the lines of Essential Rewards, Sarah Vian, I think has been my longest team member on Essential Rewards, I'm pretty sure, and Colleen Vukasich. Um, both of you ladies have just been wonderful at swapping things out of your home and I love helping you find new ways to use oils for your families and your pets. That's really fun too. I don't have animals so looking up pet questions is always entertaining for me. And then somebody else that popped into my head that I want to mention is Emily Legate. Um, she no sooner got oils in her house and she's like, mom, you've got to get these things. So she signed up her mom the same month and they've both been on a century awards. And I think Emily's going to end up teaching because she's got all of these tips and tricks and ideas. She's like, have you tried this? Have you tried this? What oil would you use for this? So I'm pretty sure Emily, you're going to end up teaching. In fact, you may have to take over oily fireside chats for me when I'm on maternity leave. Wink, wink. Um, so I think Emily's just fantastic at um, that quiet leadership. I think she's wonderful that way in that arena. So those are just a handful of the people on my team I want to mention. I could talk for an hour about my teammates. They're all wonderful, each of you in your own way. But I wanted to highlight those very special ladies on my team. Okay, I'll put my two cents in. Um, so 
I, I have a hard time asking for help. Um, but this year I decided that I needed to ask for help with some administrative stuff and Tessa has come through and helped me with a lot of that. So, um, all the beautiful mailings that you guys have been getting in the mail, all of the design work is Tessa. It's totally not me, not my forte. Um, so that is all her and has been such a huge weight off my shoulders um, with the four kids and working full time and all the other things. Um, I just don't have a ton of extra time. So that's been a huge blessing. So thank you, Tessa, for that. And for keeping us on task because I am a little bit of a squirrel, like, oh, I'll be talking about something and like, oh, wait. And then I think of something else and Tessa just really keeps me on task. <laughs> Very helpful. <laughs> My pleasure. Helpful. God um, gives us all in different ways. <laughs> and I can echo what Tessa and um, Anne said about um, Rose and all her awesome ideas and just passion and drive to just get things going. And she didn't think about it. She just, let's just do it. Let's try it. And I, that is what I need because I tend to like think about things. I'm like, well, about it. So, Thank you, Rose, for that. Um, I'm trying to think. On my team, I think my two longest standing Essential Rewards members are Alicia Steckling and Tina Vandeplas. Um, they faithfully order every month. And um, Alicia does a ton of awesome videos and helpful DIY tricks and tips. Um, she's got her own um, Facebook page where she does a lot of those sorts of things, which are super, super helpful. I love the idea of DIY, but actually like carrying it out, like doing it is a whole nother story. And she just does an awesome job of, um, of educating in that way. So that is super cool. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Do, do, do. Um, and also just to everybody who's been viewing our oily fireside chats and been um, contributing, asking us questions. Um, thank you. It has been good for us to just kind of research some of those things that we really haven't researched a whole lot of. And I think one of the most helpful things and one of the most, the best parts about Young Living is the community and how much you can learn from other people um, of how to use your products, how to use your oils, how do I make this last longer, you know, um, just really interesting things that you learn just from from one another um which is pretty cool and i did i think that's all i got i forgot i muted it when anara started crying she's in the room behind me bedtime um she's she's not happy about it um so one because tonight is team recognition and q a one of the questions I've gotten a lot of the last two weeks are um, about kind of the topic of New Year's resolutions, like how do, how do I use oils to support this new goal or this new ambition or those kinds of things. I personally don't like making New Year's resolutions because I get really discouraged like the second week of February, I'm six weeks in and I haven't hit that first mini goal or I've slacked off here or this life thing happened. And so I I tend to try to avoid making New Year's resolutions because I don't want to disappoint myself, <laughs> which is kind of a dumb reason, but it's it's the way I function. I make it. I make a new goal like the third week of February. I'm like, okay, the next six weeks, I'm really gonna work at this, but I just don't do it at New Year's. <laughs> um, so one thing that a lot of people are really thinking about come January after you've eaten all of your Christmas snacks and goodies is uh, weight loss, and I would highly encourage you to take a look at the sleep line. Um, I know we haven't really talked about that in any of our oily fireside chats. Um, so if you need more details on that, by all means, contact Anne or Janelle or myself. Um, Sleek in a nutshell is for weight management. It's got Akatea and tangerine and spearmint. There's gum, there's tea, there's snack bars, there's um, these little like capsules you can take before or after meals. Um, it just kind of helps like curb sugary cravings and carb cravings. Um, and it does it in an all natural way. It's not like altering your metabolism per se. 
it just helps eliminate those not so good for you cravings. So that's kind of sleek in a nutshell. Do either of you want to add something, a tip on there with sleek? No. <laughs> you, you really, you really hit it. Awesome. I mean, there's really nothing to add. <laughs> I like it. I've used it and it worked really well for me in the past. I mean, you're not going to drop 20 pounds in a month, but um, it really just helps with those naughty cravings that you're really trying. I mean, really, that's what we're all trying to eliminate is those, those bad cravings. Um, and it does pick up your energy. That spearmint in there and the tangerine in there really help pick up your energy. So if you're not a person who enjoys working out, you're like, I really just, I feel like sitting on my couch tonight, maybe reading a book or whatever. Um, that sleek will really help pick up that motivation. Also the motivation essential oil blend will help with that, but you know, might as well get it all in one with the sleek stuff. So, and you can buy kits um, if you look online and we can all help you find this stuff too, but you can buy like a sleek set and combining it does make it cheaper. So if you're wanting to do it that way, you can do that. Um, there was another New Year's resolution. Oh, drinking more water. Kind of a, along the same line, a lot of people have been asking me, like, they they struggle with not drinking enough water. Um, in the summertime, when they're outside in the sun, they think about it because, oh, it's hot and I'm sweaty. But in the wintertime, they notice that they get dehydrated a lot, like chapped lips and stuff, because they're not staying active on drinking water. They're not sweating as much, so they don't drink as much water. Um, my biggest suggestion, I... I put oils directly in my water. I do a little bit of sparkling water and to get, cause oils and water don't mix, basic science. Um, so I do a little bit of sparkling water, a couple of drops of tangerine or lemon or lime or orange, sometimes peppermint. You can just go the really cool route and just do a couple of drops of citrus fresh in there. That's really good. Um, but Young Living now has, and Janelle can talk to these. I haven't bought any yet. I've tried them at Janelle's and they're really good. Um, Vitality Drops. Janelle, do you want to share about those? They're really good. So they're kind of like that Mio Energy, um, the little squeeze things that you put in your water. Um, you can find, it's very similar to what you would find on the shelves at like your local store except it doesn't have its all natural sweeteners and essential oils. It tastes really good. Um, and it doesn't have any, like the extra artificial crap that you can find in the stuff in the store. Um, there's two flavors. One of them is um, grapefruit bergamot. And then the other one is lavender lemonade. My boys like the grapefruit um, bergamot one better, but Sarah likes the lavender lemonade the best. So I... I probably, my preference would probably be the bergamot, like the grapefruit bergamot one, um, but I don't mind the lavender lemonade one either. So they, and a little bit goes along with like you, <clears throat> I feel like the ones in the store, you have to like squeeze a good squeeze. You really don't have to with these. It's just like a little squeeze and you're good to go. And it just kind of gives your water that extra burst of flavor. Um, plus you're getting the essential oils and the essential oils that are included in these Vitality um, drops are awesome for digestion. They're awesome for like boosting energy, those sorts of things. So win-win, makes your water taste better and it's good for you. So yes, I would highly recommend them. Um, they're gonna be more expensive than the ones you're buying at the store. Um, but just remember like you're, you're paying for what you're getting, okay? So you're getting high quality product, no extra artificial garbage, and a little bit goes a long way. So I find that they last a long time. Getting names on the prize wheel here. Um, yeah, the when I tried them at your house, I think I accidentally, like I had that Mio water squeezy thing in mind. So I put in too much. So then I grabbed a second glass and like did half and half and then refilled. So then I was drinking double the water. So while it is more expensive, you're like, oh no, I'm paying way more than I was at Walmart. A little bit goes a very long way. Just like all of Young Living products. I mean, we've talked about how we dilute our shampoo and our conditioner and our lotions and stuff. Um, that, that vitality drop thing is exactly the same. A little bit goes a very long way, which I love about Young Living because... 
it also means less packaging, which is really nice. So the other thing that you can do um, if you want to spice it up and not just have water, you can use like get whatever, whatever LaCroix or sparkling water, whatever kind of sparkling water that you like. Um, I'll put some sparkling water in a cup. I'll put a packet yeah. of Ninja Red in a cup and I'll put a little squirt of the Vitality. And it's like a non-buzzed mommy mocktail. So, <laughs> Mommy mocktail, that sounds really good. <laughs> Quite tasty. The, the non-buzzed version. <laughs> oh, awesome. Do either of you have anything else you want to share in terms of recognition or New Year's resolution tips, tricks, ideas? or year-end wrap-up? I think my um, my New Year's resolution tip slash trick can be applied all year long. Like if you, maybe you've been sitting on the fence and maybe you've been like, yeah, okay, I've tuned into the oily fireside chats and maybe I've used essential oils in the past and, but eh, they didn't really work. I don't know. Give it a try. Give it a try. And just know that like Young Living is up here as far as like quality of essential oils. And so oftentimes, you know, maybe if you've had some exposure to essential oils in the past and they really didn't work for you, um, or it was, you know, you just really weren't impressed. I'd encourage you to just give Young Living a try, give them a try. And if you don't want to do oils, sweet, that's fine. Get yourself some Thieves Cleaner, seriously, because everybody on the planet needs something to clean their bathrooms with. And Thieves Cleaner, honestly, it smells awesome. It works great. And as far as cost effectiveness, there is nothing on the market that's organic, non-toxic, that, that is as cheap as Thieves Cleaner. Oh, so, even not non-toxic or organic. Thieves Cleaner is cheaper than Windex. It's cheaper than Lysol. I mean, we have the charts. We've mailed them to you guys. It's ridiculously cheap, cheaper than anything you get at Walmart. And it cleans even better. And it's the only thing that I use. So I mm-hmm. use it in X in place of my 409 in place of all of that stuff. There's so many different things that you can um, do with it. Um, so it's very versatile, very, very versatile. So maybe you're thinking like, okay, oils really aren't for me. Like they're kind of voodoo. Like, I don't really want to do that. All right. Then I would highly suggest the thieves cleaner, like the thieves line of stuff. Um, if they would have had the thieves line when I first started, I probably would have started with that starter kit because um, I've grown to love my oils and I've grown to like use them more. Um, but at the start, it was kind of like, okay, I have these oils. What the heck do I use them for? Like there was a, I felt like there was a big learning curve. Whereas with the thieves products, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's hand soap and hand sanitizer and the cleaner. Like it's pretty straightforward what you use the stuff for and it's practical Mm -hmm. and much a practical person. So, but I think once you start with those sort, once you start with like a thief starter kit, start using the product because you're going to be like, oh, 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 I remember in that oily fireside chat, they were telling me about how lemon oil is really good for getting adhesives off. Okay. I I guess I'm going to try that. You're going to be hooked and you won't look back. I promise. So I, biggest tip for new year's resolution is like just get started and from there you like you don't have to buy everything in the catalog like get started with something give it a try reach out to me or tessa or ann or rose or whomever reach out to us if you need some tips or tricks and we'll be very honest with you like if we've tried a product and we're like meh it was okay you know whatever we're gonna be honest with you um or maybe we like liked the product, but maybe we changed it for our preferences or something like that. We'll tell you, but just get started and um, we'll be there to help you every step of the way. And you don't have to go guns blazing. Like you don't have to buy $600 worth of products. Um, You know, grab your Thieves starter kit or whatever starter kit for whatever price it is. I think the Thieves one is 125. I think it's 125. I I think it's 125. Um, whatever, wh- wherever you decide, like whatever's best for your family, just jump in two feet and we're going to be here to help you every step of the way. And I promise you won't look back. Like I remember in 2014 when I got my starter kit and I was like, eh, I don't know if I'll use this. Meh, I don't know. And then it was like, now fast forward. And I use it. I use my starter kit plus a gazillion other things. 
in every aspect of our lives. So there's that. That's my two cents. Thank you, Janelle. That was really, really good. Good information. Um, you know, sometimes I think people think they do have to um, buy like $600 worth of stuff. Um, you know, I mean, if you have an extra $600 that you just have and you want to spend it somewhere, we can definitely <laughs> help you. Oh, we but, can We can make you a list. <laughs> but that's not the case at all. Um, you know, back back when I got my starter kit, I mean, it was it was a little bit cheaper than than what the starter kits are now, but not by much. And and I just I remember kind of being like, okay, so what do I use these oils for? Um, and I actually had to do a lot of my own my own research and and tune into different um, you know like zooms and and webinars and you know just to kind of be like I wasn't around when you and I joined <laughs> Young Living. Who are you kidding? Yeah, no, I'm like Zoom, <laughs> Zoom. No, that's not it. We did um, all of our research in books back in our day. <laughs> right, right. Back in the day, we had these little, you know, <laughs> these little pamphlets <laughs> in the snow, uphill. Both. <laughs> uphill both yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so you know it's you're right though, Janelle, it's, it's like, there are those that are kind of like, well, I don't know, you know, I don't know, just, just take the jump. You, you got to trust us on this. You, you got to trust us on this. We will be there right there for you to reach out to. We'll give you tips. We'll help to educate you through not only these oily fireside chats, but we do different different little events sometimes and hopefully we'll be able to do live and in-person <laughs> events again um, sometime soon but I think it's really stretched us a little bit too um, as far as we need to we need to be creative and and how to get the message of essential oils thieves household cleaner you've heard us talk about ninja red or ninja red we like to call it ninja because it just sounds way cooler but, um, you know, and all the supplement line, you know, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it, they have, Young Living has so many products that yeah, you will be just wowed. And, you know, and I'm just thankful that, you know, I jumped on board and, um, you know, we're here to help you. So if you're thinking about essential oils, um, you know, take that leap because it will be worth it. Oh yeah, definitely. I concur and echo everything already said. <laughs> um, do either of you ladies have anyone viewing live on your feeds that you'd like me to throw on the prize wheel here? <laughs> Anne's like, hang on, I've got somebody. <laughs> um, while Anne's checking, I'm going to share the motivational quote for the week. Um, I really like this one. I'm actually sharing two because I was thinking of a quote and I was trying to look it up so that I got the wording exact and I found two other quotes that I actually liked better than the one that was in my head. So I'm sharing two this week. Um, to get through the hardest journey, we need take only one step at a time, but we must keep stepping. So I think that one is really like echoing how we got through 2020. I think that's a really excellent way to wrap up this year. Um, I think many of us could say that 2020 has been one of the hardest years of our lives. Maybe not the hardest, but it certainly presented unique challenges. Um, and I think most of us did it just by one step at a time, one day at a time. Um, but we all kept stepping. You know, we, we didn't give up. We took every challenge and learned through it and grew through it. And I think as we continue in our lives, we need to remember that we got through this year by helping each other. Um, we carried each other when some of us couldn't walk. <laughs> um, but we got through this hard journey by taking one step at a time and we kept stepping. Um, and then the other quote that I really like, which is a little bit more like hopeful and challenging as we enter a new year is one step is what separates your comfort zone from living life. 
And I have a tendency to overanalyze things and sit in my comfort zone and not move because I'm comfortable <laughs> in my comfort zone. So I, I really like that taking the initiative of taking that one step is what separates you from your comfort zone from, from living, living your life, living the life that um, God intended you to live, living the life that's a challenge, living the life that will grow you. So I really like those two quotes. I thought that well, those was a good wrap up one year and start another. We're taking one step into a new year. So nobody to add. Nobody to add. Okay. So let's see. I think I've got everybody who was watching and commented last week and everybody from this week. I'm just double checking one more time. Then we're going to share our screen here. Share screen, share sound. Okay, everybody see it? Excellent. All right. Congratulations, B. So we'll get something in the mail to you this week. Thank you for being our, I think, second most faithful tune in person. Um, all right. Well, I think that's all we have for this week. And Janelle, anything else you wanted to add? No? All right. Well, as always, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact us or whoever invited you to this Oily Fireside chat. Um, when you're ready to take that one step into the next journey of your life, when you're ready to make that switch, when you're ready to get that circuit, contact Ian or Janelle or Rose or myself or whoever invited you to the Oily Fireside chat. We would all love to help you um, learn and grow with us and definitely get you some thieves cleaner. Um, priority one. <laughs> And um, until next week, same time, same place, we hope you have a wonderful week and have a glorious start to your new year. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>